Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get to that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for coming from all over the world to my channel. And thank you for the wonderful comments that you make about me. I really do appreciate it. I'm very humbled by it and I'm very thankful for it. So thank you very much. I don't know if you're aware of this, but today we had an eclipse that passed through Texas. And we had people coming from all over the world to come and see the eclipse in Dallas, Texas. Linda and I were fortunate enough to be able to sit in our backyards and watch it. And this is a picture of me looking at the sun through the special eclipse glasses that, that, they, uh, that you can acquire. They're, uh, they're so dark that you can't see anything except the sun. <laughs> and you can see the sun very clearly. But I thought I would talk about the eclipse a little bit because maybe you've never seen one. Maybe you never will get to see one. And so uh, this is an experience that I can at least, you can at least live through me vicariously. So we went outside about, uh, about 10 minutes after one or about, well, about one o'clock. And we sat in lawn chairs in our backyard. That's how privileged we are, how blessed God is, how much God has blessed us that we can sit in our backyards and watch an eclipse. And we watched the sun as the moon came across it. And there were a couple of things that struck me uh, as we were sitting there watching the moon move across the sun and block it. The first one was how bright it was when the sun was probably 80% occluded. It was still very bright. It was, it was kind of an eerie kind of uh, color to it sort of uh, it wasn't normal sunlight but it was still very bright out and the other thing that I noticed was it was still very warm that was amazing to me that the sun could be covered up 80% or more by the moon and yet it was still warm and it was still bright out it's amazing how powerful the sun is it really is that that brought it out to me in vivid detail and then the other thing that I noticed was that when the when totality came, when it was the sun was completely covered by the moon and all you could see was the corona around the sun that comes out, you know, it's it, it, it's so big that it actually comes out the edges of the moon and you can see the corona surrounding the moon as it's completely blocking the sun. And <clears throat> The thing that I noticed was that it was as dark as night, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. But yet, when you looked up in the sky, the sky wasn't dark like it is at night. When You know, you're used to looking up in the sky and it's so dark you can see the stars and you can see the moon and, you know, it's black. The, su the sky is black at night. It wasn't black. It was kind of grayish. So even with the sun... <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, even with the sun being completely eclipsed by the moon, there was still enough light just from the corona to make it kind of grayish colored sky rather than a black sky. So that was really fascinating to me. Now, I want to show you uh, some pictures. This is one of me looking up at the sun. Then this is one of me looking up the sun and Linda looking at the camera and smiling. I thought that was so cute. She, she should have been looking at the sun, but of course she wasn't. And then this is me in the backyard during totality. And you can see up there at the top that the, the sky is still lighted uh, a little bit. It's kind of grayish. But you can tell that it's dark on the earth because look at the shadows. And we have a, uh, we have a motion detector, detector light in our backyard. So what Linda did was she said, move your arm. So I moved my arm and then she took the picture unbeknownst to me. So that was me sitting in the backyard during the total eclipse and her taking a picture of me sitting there. So 
I just thought you might enjoy seeing those and, and hearing about the eclipse. It's, it's an amazing occurrence, and the next one in our area will be in 2079. So unless I live to be 130, I won't see that one. But it was cool to see this one. We really did enjoy it. And I'm sure that you can find, you know, tons and tons of news stories and photographs of the sun, photographs of the eclipse, all of that online. So if you're interested in that stuff, just go ahead and look for it. I just have a couple of articles for you. The first one is from Cheryl Atkinson, at Kisson, no N in there. And the title of the story is Mexican Cartels Recruiting American Smugglers to Wreak Havoc on a Once Tranquil Border Region. But I wanted to read you one section of this article. Um, smuggling networks have now incorporated American citizens to smuggle persons from the border to cities throughout the U.S., said a Cochise County law enforcement source, who added that the new trend has created deadly consequences in the border communities, where the American recruits often travel at dangerously high speeds through local roads and highways. Most are inexperienced young drivers, according to a community leader who has lived in the area for decades. In one recent incident, an elderly woman was struck and killed by a speeding vehicle on her way to dinner with family. The youth behind the wheel was from the greater Phoenix area and was participating in the smuggling effort while evading law enforcement, according to an area official who also said police and residents are hyper vigilant on the, of the deadly pursuits, which are becoming quite common and often exceed speeds of 100 miles per hour in residential neighborhoods. So that's just one of the consequences of having an absolutely porous border. And, you know, I don't care what anybody says. Countries need to have borders in order to maintain order. You can't have order without having a border. If you just allow anyone to come into your country, it, it's, well, what did I do there? Um, it's not going to be good for you, okay? It's going to be bad because you're not just letting in good people that are looking for work. You're also letting in evil people who are looking for trouble and are causing trouble. And I'm having a little bit of trouble getting my URL up here for you. Let me see if I can get that again. This second story that I want to show you is Things worth remembering, the biggest threat to, to American liberty. Um, this is an article on Substack by a fellow who um, specializes in featuring speeches from the past. His name is Douglas Murray, and he's, uh, he, he publishes columns where he features speeches from, from history from our history in America. And this is a, as you can see, a rather lengthy speech by Abraham Lincoln. But I wanted to just read you this one passage from it, which really struck me. You may have a when or cancer upon your person and not be able to cut it out lest you bleed to death. But surely it is no way to cure it, to engraft it and spread it over your whole body. That is no proper way of treating what you regard as wrong. You see, this peaceful way of dealing with it is as wrong, and the it is slavery, restricting the spread of it and not allowing it to go into new countries where it has not already ex existed. That is the peaceful way, the old-fashioned way, the way in which the fathers themselves set us the example. Lincoln points out in his speech, that the fathers of our country had planned from the very beginning to eradicate slavery. They just know, knew that they could not do it immediately because of the economy in the South. They never envisioned that it would lead to a civil war, a, a horrible civil war where a lot, a lot of people died on both sides. But 
it was resolved finally and we've moved on from there and we're at a point now in our country where everyone is equal under the law we still have racism we still have biases we still have people who stupidly think that the color of your skin makes some difference in who you are but from a legal standpoint there is no discrimination anymore there's no racial discrimination anymore there are still things that need to be fixed there's no question about that but if you remember from the declaration of independence in order to form a more perfect perfect union that's always been the goal of the united states to form a more perfect union and we continue to strive towards that goal which is not reachable in reality but it's a an aspiration that we can move towards and look towards and plan towards as we go forward so that's the news for today I hope you enjoyed the pictures of the eclipse and you know that I will pray for you. I pray for every single person that comes to my channel, whether you're subscribed to me or not. I don't care if you're subscribed. I still care about you and I pray for you that you will have an abundant life, that you'll be healthy and that you'll live a long time and that God will keep you safe from harm. I also pray that he will do the same for every single person that you care about. And I pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, you'll make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.